Well, good evening, football fans. I'm Chris Ball. Welcome to Tuesday Night Football. Johnson High School is the location of this seventh grade action. The red team, known by the name Dahlstrom Mustangs, white on the bottom, and the white tops, blue on the bottom, the Wallace Rangers. Seventh grade A team both come in to tonight's contest unbeaten and looking to stay that way. And each team, of course, wanting to say something about that. Captains at midfield, 99 and 3 for Dahlstrom. Can't see the numbers for Wallace. They'll flip some coins. There it goes, and we'll be underway shortly. So Wallace, I believe, won the toss, deferred, kicking off this time to Dahlstrom. And it'll make its way all the way to the back line. 44, a little trouble picking it up. One man first down there, not going to get him there. And a big hit by number 19, Jay, cleaned up by 11, Brendan. You'll hear both their names quite a bit, I would imagine. Dahlstrom ball on the 22. A 3-3 stack defense for the Rangers. Zeke and Callum the corners, Brendan the safety. A pitch and his knee was down. 22 Jacob, I believe the ball carrier, but he'll be down in the backfield where he had to go down for the pitch. And it's a big loss to start things. So second, call it 14, out of the gun. Shovel pass, Jacob off tackle there and Zeke lowers his pads and makes a good open field tackle down low. And Jacob gets back to the original line of scrimmage plus one. Putnam, Gonzalez, and Oliveris, the linebackers. Three, sidesteps the first one, and then his pancake tackled by the big right side defensive tackle, and it brings up an early fourth down in the ball game. And Jay, it looks like, checks in the ball game at that left defensive end spot. 77, 78, his teammates there on the defensive line anchoring things up front. Trips right for Dahlstrom. Gonna see if they can't get 10, keep this one alive. Clap for the ball. Movement to the right, looking to throw it. Number one, the quarterback's going to pull it down and collided with there and then thrown down by 19J at the 34, and it's a turnover on downs. Good field position for the Rangers to start. So going in, 34, and quads widespread for Wallace to open things up. Eight, shovel pass to nine, a flag in the backfield, nine. Spin move and gets out for about four yards, but it's likely a hold and probably will come back. That's typically the result of a flag in the backfield. It is, and we'll replay first down from 10 yards further back. Penalties and turnovers will eat your lunch in football faster than you can say, help me. Eight, the quarterback. Opens to his left, hand off to Callum Ball. is gonna cut up the field, then bounce back outside and didn't get much, maybe a couple. Number 99. 99 problems for the nose guard position for the Mustangs is love. Poe fakes the handoff, has a man, 10 on the flag route, throws it up high and in and out of his hands. Tried to what we call moss, but really perhaps underthrown is why he had to stop and wait. It's a long pass, can't blame the pass for being underthrown. Second, no, excuse me, third down and long coming. So early in the ball game, both offenses looking for some traction. Poe, the quarterback, hands off to Zeke, his first carry of the night, trying the right edge, cutting back across the grain and found at the 40-yard line, and it'll bring up fourth down. That's Cade Miller, 62, one of the biggest kids out there. So fourth down inside Dahlstrom territory means the Rangers electing to go for it. Poe drops back, rolls to his left, has company, 55, found him, it's a face mask, and it's going to be an automatic first down and keep the Wallace drive moving. An ill-timed face mask, 15-yarder, automatic first down. Snap, fake, Poe rolls out to his right, pulls it down, thought about throwing it to 10, found from the backside, trying to keep things moving. Whistle blows before the ball comes out, and he picks up three. So we've seen four wide quite a bit tonight from Wallace already breaking free from the slot. T and Brendan, the quarterback, drops it, picks it up, is going to try to make something out of it, puts a little scoot and boogie on, and still gets past the first would-be tackler before he's found by two others. And it's a loss of about seven. Third and 17, the second big hole of the night. Not the way Coach Shelley's drawing things up here. Brendan, the quarterback again. Guy's in tighter this time. Hands behind him to Zeke. Just got it on his hip. Tries to reverse field, nothing doing. And it's fourth down. And this Dahlstrom defense flexing a bit here. Offense remains the same. Brendan, 11, looking to throw it. And then slips down, lost his footing. And that's where Dahlstrom will have it. Back where they started on the 41. First down, spot is in the middle of the field. And one in the gun, 22 Jacob to his right, 
trips to the right side here, the near side. And Dahlstrom seeing if they can get something going here this second outing. Shovel pass to the right side. And no tackle there on the boundary. Brendan misses him as well. A flag happens. And then two able to make the tackle. We'll see what the flag is. That's Put Putman. A spot foul hold around the 45. Takes it back to the 35 where we replay first down. Trips right. Right side hash the spot. Dive play. Met in the backfield. J19 body slams. And drops him for two. Balance spread this time for the Mustangs. Second long. A little motion. Fake it. Quarterback's going to keep her on the left edge. Gets past the defensive end, but couldn't get past the second line. He does pick up three, but it's still a big challenge upcoming. So third down. Thought it was fourth, and that need was down. That'll be where it, the ball stops. Quarterback handed off his knee, and of course, anything but the NFL. Many kids aspire to end up there one day, but it's down on the ground where your knee tags. So fourth and long in Dahlstrom territory. Might expect a punt here. Brendan holds his ground at free safety. They're not showing it. And they're going to go for it. Quarterback's going to wheel to his right, looking to throw it. Has two across the middle, wide open. Got it. Callum misses the tackle. And two's off to the races. Brendan going to try to get him on the boundary and pushes him out of bounds. Had Callum made that tackle, it would have been a turnover on downs. It was inside the mark to make. But a big play, the biggest of the game so far for the Dahlstrom Mustangs. So ball's on the 15, shuttle pass to Jacob, 22 off tackle right, eight hole, slams into his blocker, and it stuns him enough. Ball comes out late, he was down. He picks up a lot though, got about eight on a carry. We're scoreless after one, Dahlstrom threatening here. So on the heels of that deep post pattern on fourth down, Dahlstrom on the doorstep, seven split out way wide, man coverage, handoff 22 up the gut, Jacob to the five inside where he's found, it's close to a first down, they may say first and goal, and they will. So spot the five yard line, Jacob in the backfield with one, and we'll get it again up the middle, and got two down to where you'll go for an extra point try should they need it here in a minute, second and goal. So same formation, they like that trips right. And this time it's a shuttle to 22. Hurdles over the first guy, finds the end zone, touchdown. And that 0-0 tie is broken. Dahlstrom strikes first, 6-0. So an extra point kick here being attempted. 80 the kicker, if made. I believe it's two and it's over everybody's head. And 80 just goes down to save the day. A return the other direction would be worth two. I say that on the ground. I think is just worth one tonight, as I noticed in the B-team game. So I'm assuming it would have just been a one-point conversion, had been returned the other way. A moot point at this point. Brendan and Callum, the deep men for the Rangers. First time the Mustangs have kicked off tonight. And 80 sends one down, left side. Callum able to get it and trying the left side. And trying to get to the boundary, 21, he turns inside of him, lowers a shoulder, found just shy of midfield, and it's a return of nearly 20 yards. Set the Rangers up in pretty good shape. Rangers break the huddle. Poe back into the quarterback spot. And it's an end around to Brendan. Brendan has a wide open receiver, number 10 downfield, but he didn't keep his eyes down and gets taken down in the backfield. Loss of about six, but 10 had 20 yards of space around him. Number six, the near side corner for Dahlstrom getting a talking to from his coach saying they just dodged a bullet, run with the receiver. Meanwhile, Zeke check, checks in the game for Brendan and number nine, quick move inside and then wrapped up just shy of the first down. It's one of his first carries of the night and he can scoot and that's Julian. Julian, the ball carrier on that last play, perhaps better known as Juju in the backfield again. Four wide and Oh, going to keep it on the keeper on the left side and leans forward and may have enough for the first down with forward progress. I believe he does. He's at the 40-yard line, and that'll move the chains. Backfield, the same, but they bring the wideouts in tight. And Juju gets up the middle and leans forward for another pickup of five up to the 35. Second and five, the down and distance. And Poe faked it. Now looking for the flag route, not there, and he just had, that's a live ball out of bounds. And so that's gonna be a loss of yard, 
And then he throws it for intentional grounding as well, I guess. We'll see if it's intentional grounding or a fumble. But it definitely went backwards. And I'll let you know what they say. So the intentional grounding flag waved. It was ruled a fumble, a loss of a bunch. And Poe will have to know next time you got to throw that one forward, be outside the tackle box to throw it away. Hand off Juju, slips a tackle. Back up field and Dahlstrom reaching for that ball. Good tackle in there. Number 22 is the primary ball carrier, stripping for it. So a must convert situation facing the Rangers as Poe brings his offense to the line in the spread formation. And it's a give to Juju up the middle, and he's got to bounce outside. He's got company to get past. Gets through a little bit of it, leans forward, but it's still going to be shy. How about the running? And it was closer than Dahlstrom would have liked for it to be, but it's a turnover on downs nonetheless. So 33-yard line, right to left. Trips right, low snap, pitch to 22. Jacob around the edge, trying to be turned in by Zeke, and he hangs on to him, and company comes. How about the edge containment from the corner there? So Zeke really played that well. He was getting blocked but kept outside containment just like he's coached to do. Quick hot pass, seven, the receiver. Callum trying to get off the block this side and then he's collided with. That's Putnam and Brennan, Brendan making that tackle. It's a first down at the 45 for the Mustangs. Mustang plays coming in on signals, so no huddle for them, and they're able to move with a little tempo. Balanced formation, now three comes in motion across the quarterback's face, claps for the ball, one, rolls to his right, being chased by 77. Ooh, and he gets hit as he lets go of it, and three catches it, and misses the first tackle, and then gets the first down. How about the execution there? One, taking a lick as he hit it, keeping his eyes downfield. Some real bravery on the play. So a bunch formation out here the near side way wide and help has to come to cover it he's gonna look same play Callum hits him and levels him but the pass was off the mark anyway incomplete will go to second so this time Dahlstrom on the right side hash has the strength to the far side shovel pass to 22 gonna try to get on the boundary and he goes down and that's Zeke on the corner again racking up tackles on the stat sheet so back from the timeout, I failed to see which team took it. It's third down, about eight to go. Shuttle pass to 22, got the edge. Putnam trying to get him there, can't get him, and he's got the boundary, and down he goes. And Jacob won't be caught, and he's in for the second score of the night. And a hold on the corner is coming back at the 30. Callum Ball got held at the 30-yard line, and it brings the play all the way back. We'll replay third down. So infraction on the 30-yard line puts the ball on the 40. Replay third down, and it's about seven to go. 121 in the half. A six-point advantage for the Mustangs, trying to add to that here. Shotgun formation. All night it has been. Strength to the right side. And a new back in the backfield, 44. And he's hit by 16, I think, and collided with. It'll bring up fourth down. And that is Mayers making that stop. So a must convert situation here. And it's a keeper from one going to the left side. He's got some room caught from the back. How about 15? He's down there. It's a turnover on down either way. Rangers will have it under a minute to go to see if they can do something with it. So not much time to work with. Rangers need 62 yards to equalize here. Shotgun. And he's going to try to throw it. He's got 10 down the sideline and got him connected with it. And that's one way to get a bunch of yards in a hurry. And a timeout taken, 45 seconds to go. 35-yard line, right side hash is the home of the spot here. A late addition to the Dahlstrom defense, number 60, and that zero technique on the defensive line. 45 seconds on the clock. Poe in the gun. Hand off to Callum, left side, goes north and south. Three got a hand on him and takes him down. It's only good for two. It looked good for a minute, but closed in a hurry. And no timeouts taken here. Clock at 23 seconds. Spread wide, go the Rangers. And dive play, Juju, right side. Jacob hanging on, slinging him around. And he goes down, and that'll be a timeout Wallace and stop the clock with 11. So unless it's an incomplete pass, could be the last play. Quads widespread for the Rangers. Poe in the gun. Three-step drop to his left side. 
He'd have to throw against the grain. Nobody home just gets rid of it, and that'll keep the clock at five, and they'll have another down. There wasn't anybody in the vicinity of that throw, so it must have just been a throwaway. Not sure if maybe rolling to his left, there was a route that was busted because there just wasn't anybody going that direction. Ball never gets up, and then it's scooped up by Juju, or excuse me. Yeah, it was nine that got it. The ball must have hit the center's rear end, bounced straight down, and nine had the wherewithal to grab it, but that's where it expires. We'll go to the break, six nothing, Dahlstrom. Dahlstrom tees the ball up to start the second half. It's been pretty even so far. Advantage the Mustangs. And right to left we go to the second line. Caught in the air by one and then dropped and then pounced on. And some slippery fingers. That's Trustin, I believe. So Walls with the ball first. Juju in the backfield. Heels on about the 20, uh, 32 three-yard line. Callum Ball around the left side. Got a little room, and there goes three. Off to the races. Callum at the 40. Trying to get past 44. Can't quite do it, but he's down all the way to the 30. And it's a, about a 35-yard scamper. So four wide quads. The favored offensive set for the Rangers tonight. Poe, the quarterback, opens to his left. Juju, the ball carrier, steps inside the end, slips a couple tackles, and then taken down at the 25 for a seven-yard pickup. Second down is number 19, Jay, checks in the backfield for the first time tonight, and he'll get the carry on the right side. He's got some power. Stiff arms there, lowers a shoulder, loses the ball, and gets it back. And a close call there, loses a couple. Wallace will stay alive to see third down. So after Jay's run, it puts the ball on the right side hash. Third down, Callum gonna get it again, trying that left edge. Makes a guy miss there and then grabbed by the same guy. Gets back to what second down was at, which is the 25, maybe one yard further, and it's fourth down. So fourth and about two and a half, Wallace brings everybody in tight, so Dahlstrom will load the box. Give is to, Ju no, fake, play action. Won the whole thing and Cade Miller finds him and collapses on him. And it didn't work out that time as fourth down is a 10 yard drop. 35 yard line, trips right. Actually, not trips right, we have two move in there and they can't move two guys at once. So that'll be a false start and move them back five yards. So first down now, just one in motion, nine to the right side, one wheels around, looking to throw it to him, wheel. He's got five open and it was underthrown. Otherwise five could have caught it in stride. Nevertheless, a midfield catch moves the sticks and the Mustangs on their way. Callum? First down, two in the backfield with one this time. That's how they've been most of this drive. And it's gonna be a double reverse. And somebody, 77, was in there in a hurry and number seven cleans up the dirty work. How about the penetration from the defensive line blowing up the strategy there on second down? Number seven continues to be on an island out here with Callum at the corner spot and they haven't done anything with him when he's all by himself. Toss left side, and Callum trying to get him, holds him up, and help comes. And it's a pickup of four or five on the play. So third and long, call it eight. Balance set. Jacob to the right side of the quarterback, who's going to move that direction, and then throw a little out route, caught, but then hit the ground, so it's only good for about three. Five's got two receptions on this drive. So fourth down, must convert here. Moving to the left side, guy in his face. In fact, 15, gonna get credit for that pass. Not really a breakup, but he got in his face, and that's Max Garza. So a fourth down stop, earns the Rangers the ball back, and they pick up where they left off in the formation set, that is, in four wide quads. Poe, the quarterback, hand off Juju, left side and grabbed by the shirt, and then a flag at the spot of the tackle. We'll see what that's about. It's the second face mask penalty against the Mustangs, and it moves the ball deep into their territory, maybe not deep, it's called the 37. Poe going to the left side, now he's gonna reverse field, go north and south, another flag, and this one may be a hold this time. So we'll replay first down from the 48, not sure if it was a hold or illegal use of hands to the face. Both worth 10 points though, or 10 yards rather, excuse me. Wideouts for the Rangers. Callum gonna get it, double reverse, going the other direction. And a good tackle there in the open field, taken down. And I believe that was 
Garza, the final ball carrier on that play. The double reverse, good for six, brings up second and 14 after the earlier penalty in the drive. Poe gets the ball and opens to his left side. Juju has a little room and 21 levels him. 62, Kate Miller falls on him as well. Back to the original line plus one, a long third down coming. A couple of fresh feet for the Rangers enter the ball game. They sprint to the line out of the huddle. Dahlstrom showing blitz and they get across and we'll see if it's on the offense or the defense. They're gonna chat, umpire and line judge that is, and it is going to be no signal given yet. Body posture would lead me to believe it's against the offense. So a delay a game penalty called against the defense, which means they were chattering and saying things to distract the offense, which they'll call a delay of game on the defense. It's worth five, and the Rangers will play it from third down closer. Into the fourth quarter we go. Rangers need a touchdown to try to tie it up. Spots the 31, third down. Brendan, the quarterback, going to keep it all the way, dips a shoulder, but can't get past the outside containment and loses a yard for fourth down coming. Fourth and four. And the defensive grudge match that this one's been means this was an awful important one. Brendan almost drops the snap, hands to Juju, who still stays alive, leans forward but won't have enough, and it's a turnover on downs. And the red shirts get the ball back. So a chance to put some distance between themselves and the Rangers come the Mustang offense. Dive play up the middle, Jacob, and he's got company on his back immediately. No gain there. Second and 10. Strength here to the near side, the shallow side, low snap, three, gets it on the toss. In traffic, his own guys really standing there and he couldn't find a seam and finally the hole collapses on him. Third and 12, still lots of time, just over six minutes to go. Wallace needing a stop. Mustangs needing some yards. One remains the quarterback in the gun with 22 to his side. 21's gonna shift over, balance the set. Three goes in motion, and one goes with him. Going to look to try to throw it to him. Camp pulls it down now, and 77 finds him, slings him down. It's good for four, but it's going to be fourth down and more than Dahlstrom hoped for. Ball on the left side hash, 34-yard line, fourth down. Wallace stays in there, 3-3. Three, three. Here comes motion. Heavy set this side. Quarterback's going to keep it. Try to throw deep. Brendan there. And it was thrown shallow. They had a guy, but not enough put on the ball. And the ball goes back over to the Rangers, who will have it in good field position. Number nine, Juju, behind Poe, who wipes his hands on his towel. Calls for the ball. Three-step drop. Looks downfield. Has some time. Now has to go. And took too long. And big 62, Cade Miller, collapses in on him. So second down. Here come the quads. Brennan, the quarterback this time, looking to throw. Now wheels to his right side. Tries to split the defense and is violently taken down by 22 up high. And he's a little slow to get up and they'll stop the clock for an injury timeout. So Brendan able to walk off under his own power, what we want to see. Garza and Jay checking the ball game. Poet quarterback. And hands to Callum, then back to Garza on the reverse. Garza, find a little room, and then drops the ball on the ground and Dahlstrom gets it. A turnover by way of a fumble. And ill-timed for sure for the Rangers, just when the play looks promising. Clock showing 3.27 with the possession change. On about the 32-yard line. Shuttle pass to 22. Juju in there in a hurry, stripping for the ball. And the tackle made by the next guy. Pickup of a yard. Second down, nine to go. 2.55, clock moving. Trips to the right. In the gun, Dahlstrom's pretty much shown the same formation most of the night. And here comes the same play again. Zeke first man to him, but it's good for about seven, all the way to the 40. And now it's a manageable third and two for the Mustangs. So third and short, expect more off tackle play. This time it's between the tackles, held on to and dropped for a loss. And that's 77 who's been all over the place tonight. And the Rangers are gonna take a timeout just under two. So fourth down, number seven, Julian Alvarado has been a menace tonight for the Dahlstrom offense, playing that defensive line spot. Motion, quarterback's just gonna keep it, and he's got the first down, and that'll be enough probably to end the game if tackled there, though he's not yet, and finally spun down with two timeouts to go. 
And a fresh first down. I don't know that Wallace can stop it. And we've got Brendan down again. So thankfully, Brendan able to get off the field okay. First down, 144 as the clock begins to move here. And Dahlstrom going to let a lot of it ebb away there before snapping it intelligently. Here comes Jacob in motion. Fake the give. One's going to keep it. And tackled there on the boundary by Garza again. And Wallace will stop the clock with a timeout with a second short coming. So second and three back from the timeout here. 120 on the clock. Wallace needing a, a turnover here. And there's a the ball on the ground. And the quarterback gets it back just in time, just almost on cue with what I said. 111, the clock continues to move. And now Wallace will take their final timeout. An interesting sight. Dahlstrom breaks the timeout huddle. There's eight coaches that come out of it. There are no short staff tonight. Third down and long. And give up the middle. Jacob found in the backfield and tackled just inside the 50 for a fourth down coming up. But Wallace can't stop the clock anymore. And the play clock will restart if there is a play clock. I've never seen a delay a game, I don't think, called. So I'm not sure what they'll work here. Dahlstrom coaching staff saying we want to take the clock all the way down to where the play clock would stop before a delay game. And then perhaps they'll call a timeout. And the clock stops. Timeout taken by Dahlstrom with 20 seconds to go as fourth down comes up. So fourth down, Dahlstrom won't kneel it because that would stop the clock immediately. They'll try to get this first down and likely do it running. And quarterback's going to do it. Collides with one, and then the next guy finds him, so a good stop by Wallace. Possession change stops the clock with 15 seconds, and Wallace maybe will have a play or two at the most in hopes to try to equalize here. So Dahlstrom took a timeout. I think Wallace may have broke the huddle with 12, which is a penalty, and they dodged a bullet. Juju in the backfield, a Dahlstrom prevent defense, four defensive backs all deep, and then there's movement on the offense, and there's that five yards. So clock at 13 seconds. No play had been run yet. It was at 15. Eight. Poe looking to try to throw it. And then we'll just take the sack. And that's the one thing he couldn't do because that'll end the ball game. Got to at least throw a prayer up there at least. There's no timeouts left. Six nothing. Dahlstrom wins it and stays perfect on the season. Wallace suffers their first defeat. And we'll regroup and go again next week. We'll see you guys that, at that time.